The spirit of court says we must pray against extensive and excessive flooding in some parts of Cameroon. I saw in a vision a certain bridge which had been damaged by a flood of the waters, which had been swept away by a flood of the waters. Let us watch and pray. Amen. The second message is as follows. The spirit of God says the spiritual awakening which God has released in Cameroon is not meant to raise the profile of human beings. God says this time around, no one, no matter how anointed they become, must beat their chest and say, I am the one, I am the only one, I am the special one. God says he is raising a new crop of seven liters in the body of Christ in Cameroon and beyond, their hearts will complement instead of competing, serve instead of lording it over others. The Lord says this is genuine revival that he promised prophetically through his servants who are still alive and those who are no longer with us who have passed on. The third message. The Lord says when he begins to move in earnest in Cameroon, even as he is moving right now, he shall raise the profile of three cities other than their capital city, Yawond. The Holy Spirit shall move mightily in Yawond as well. I have seen in a vision some of the country's politicians and eminent state actors or players meet to build bridges of peace. I saw emissaries from the French government, the Roman Catholic Church and some delegates from other African nations involved in peace-building initiatives in Cameroon. The Spirit of God says intercessors in Cameroon and elsewhere must not wait for these things to happen on their own, but must labor tirelessly in prayer. Let us watch and pray. Amen.